you're gonna be surprised there are so many so many things to see here and in a way we are more or less at the sea level remember 400 meters below sea level is the Dead Sea actually more than that Okay. All right, then we reached the quarry. Quarry? Yeah. Think about it. You have to build it. Then it's better to build it with the stones from here. If not, you have to climb up. The cable car was from this time. But the quarry was used for another reason. It's kind of a moat. No one can enter to his palace. And when he used it, he used it only in wintertime, just like me, because it's terribly hot on summertime. When I'm taking groups to here, I wish that I will, in summertime, it's actually reach 110 degrees Fahrenheit, 45, even close to 50 degrees uh, Celsius. Not an easy. Now, before we are entering to his main place let's enter to the commander's residence i'm not sure that he is the one that king harold visited if king harold wanted him to come uh, to meet him he actually came to him then let's enter um to his kind of a villa and it's a typical roman villa the sun is in our eyes so I'm trying to find some better space, better place. It looks like that. A little bit sunny, a lot of shade. And there are two rooms here, but are behind us there are many more rooms. Why it's important for me? Let's go in and you will sit. Ta -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Colors from 2000 years ago. Now, it's not an important building. The commander can accept a very simple room. You know what? Two rooms, but without colors. Then everything was covered with plaster, even the non important rooms, and fresco padding on it. Let's go to the room with, with a view. Da -da -da -da. The colors is mostly from Italy, from Pompeii. Uh, the artist from Pompeii as well. Look how beautiful is the view, isn't it? And look at that, you can see one of the army camps and the siege wall. He was here from everywhere. Then it shows you that it was beautiful. Then remember, agriculture area was green, and at it, um, colors. Now what's that? In the winter time, it's quite cold at night time. Then this is kind of an oven to warm yourself in this cold house, built by the Jews who've been here. Um, 70 years after um, the death of uh, of King Harold. Remember that two different stories. I wanted to remember it. Another thing that it's important to understand that in some of these fortresses, and the main and the name is Sarah is actually a fortress. And some of them you could find some figures here. Though he built it for himself, he built it in a Jewish strict way. And this is the next question: He was a Jew. That he was half an Abadin, half a Edomite, half a Jew. Ah, there's more than uh, yeah. He was everything. I mean, he was born as a Jew uh, to an Abadin woman that converted herself. And his father, his grandfather, converted himself uh, to Judaism. Then, in that case, he was a Jew. Then he kept that place strictly in a Jewish way. We didn't find any figures here. Uh, ma why? I think because God saved his family here. Beautiful, isn't it? Now 
the good thing in that video is that now I can actually do whatever I want. Usually when I'm with a group here, I do have something like one and a half hour with private people two hours, but it all depends on how hot it is. Now, I have no limits. I already pay for my car. It will really cost me the same if I will be here for two and a half hours or 20 minutes. Another stove is here. That is mostly for baking things. Outside, it's not inside their room. Then in that case, it's better for everyone. You know, smoke and those kind of thing. 